Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, Zetomax.com and Samsung Epic 4G Hacks.com. So today I'm going to show you how to install the Syndicate ROM. It's probably the best aftermarket ROM for your Epic 4G. Um, to do this, if you're on a stock ROM, upgrade it to the latest, latest software update, uh, which is the EC05. And if you're already on some old, uh, old ROM, perhaps before EC05, um, what my best suggestion is actually unrooted, get back to uh, stock and then update your software to uh, the EC05 and then you know root it again. Uh, I have instructions on that but once you get to that point uh, you've got it updated to EC05 and uh, what you want to do is uh, root it okay using the method I, I show you. I'll have links on my uh, under the YouTube video. Anyway, you want to get to uh, download the syndicate, the latest standard.zip or the fully loaded. So I have it right there. And you'll want to go, this is my Samsung uh, micro SD card. And then oh, copy it over to the root directory. So I've copied it over. And I am copying it over. And once that's done, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna turn off our phone, um, go back into the Clockwork Recovery, and what's gonna happen is that the Clockwork Recovery will, you know, switch your file system. RFS, which is a proprietary Samsung file system, to extension 4, which is Linux file system. It makes it puts less lag on your phone, and which is also a requirement for installing this ROM. Um, so after this is copied over, we're gonna reboot our phone, and then and then do the next step, and then so we'll be back. Well, let this finish, and then we're gonna we're gonna uh, reboot our phone. Turn off our phone. In the next step, we're gonna power it off, and we're gonna convert uh, the RFS, the proprietary Samsung file system, to EXT4, you know, extension for Linux system because it's better, it's faster, it puts less lag on your phone, and we can install the Syndicate ROM, which is probably the best ROM that supports that. And, you know, what we're gonna do is after this is turned off, turned off completely, right? Hold down the volume down. Uh, oh, let me do it with this end. This one, volume down the camera button, right? And then hit the power button. And then it'll go into clock mod or recovery. And uh, what, it, what it's doing now is it's automatically converting all your, the file system from, um, from what is it? RFS, uh, Samsung Slow S, you know, whatever, uh, to something faster. So this is going to take a little bit, but uh, when it's done, is you're going to have um, EXT4 partitions basically, and then we can just straight off download the Syndicate ROM file, put it in this phone, and we're all good to go. So I'll be back after this is done. So once the um, your file system has been converted to uh, ex uh, what's that extension four, what we're gonna do is just uh, we're gonna we're gonna install. We'll actually go to White Factory Data and Reset. Hit the camera button, and then hit yes. And this will basically yes, it, it's basically do that. Um, I mean clear format it sorry I've been working all day and then we're gonna go to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card and we're gonna choose syndicate the ROM we copied over earlier in the beginning of this tutorial and then we're gonna hit the camera button and hit yes and finally we're gonna get our syndicate ROM installed and um, for those of you uh, who who don't who don't know how to you know do it or even you know 
if this is your first time installing ROM, just read my blog post. My videos are great as a reference, but you should really follow step by step on my blog post. Um, that's the best way. So, you know, maybe some steps I forgot in the video, um, but I do it right on my blog post, my article. So, check out the links, um, and then hopefully, this will install everything correctly. And we'll have a new Syndicate ROM on my friend's Samsung Epic 4G phone. Actually, Samsung Epic 4G is a real headache because Samsung has a lot of their proprietary systems. That's why we have to do all this, you know. Uh, that's why we don't. We still have no real good gingerbread, stable gingerbread. Uh, whereas, like my G2 phone, I have you know gingerbread, all these other ROMs, and you know my Nexus S. Um, this, I don't know, Samsung just kind of has their own thing, but you know, who knows, they might get better in the future, and, you know, hackers already figured out how to get around it. Anyway, when this is done, I'll be back. I won't keep rambling. Hi all folks, so it just finished installing the new ROM, and uh, we're going to hit the power button to go back to the main menu. Oops, no. Is that it? What did I do? Oh, uh, okay, there we go. And hit reboot. Just reboot it. So, hopefully I did it right this time. And we should have a Syndicate ROM logo. I've been doing this actually all day, trying to figure out what I did last time to install it. Um, mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, you might want to uh, just, you know, do, do the steps again. Actually, I think... Oh, it did work. There you go. You might want to uh, wipe it like twice. Sometimes that works. So, I've got the uh, ACS logo, Android Creative Syndicate. This is a Syndicate ROM. It's a pretty nice ROM, I would say. Um, there's not, not other many other ROMs. This one's based on the latest, latest... Um, EC05 from Sprints, you know, so it's got everything latest. Where's all the other ROMs on the market right now? Or at XTF forums, it's off uh, EB13, which is the last one. So this one definitely is going to be the best ROM you can get right now. So I highly recommend it. And uh, we'll have other tips, hacks coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe to uh, SamsungEpicHacks.com. We have also a page on Facebook. Uh, you'll see on our. Um, make sure hit hit that like button for us. Um, we don't ask for anything other than that you like us. Just cool, right? So I've got the. Uh, what is this thing called again? Sorry, it's been a long day. The Syndicate ROM. And my voice is almost gone because I've been retaking photos videos so I get it right um, but uh, it's pretty nice as you can see um, it's got 4G 4G works show you that um, the syndicate ROM oh. so I've got the 4G on it should it should hook up I've got yeah 4G connected just now Oops. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll have further analysis of this new ROM, but it comes with Wi-Fi tether, wire tether uh, already installed, so you don't have to pay for it. Don't tell Sprint. Uh, and Sprint Hotspot, I, I don't know if this has been hacked. Let me try it, because I don't pay for a Sprint Hotspot, but it might work. It might be. Oh, it works. This one's uh, hacked, too. Oh, no, never mind. No, I got the res. But it's okay, I've, I've got the uh, free version, which is Wi-Fi Tether, which works just as well. Um, and also Wire Tether. Um, I'm getting good 4G signals. Oh, maybe not. Actually, it's been iffy around here. But that's not because of the ROM. Because uh... Anyway, that's how you install the Syndicate ROM. Um, I highly recommend it. And uh, we'll have more tips and more ROMs. So, see you all later. Thanks.